Hey, Might of Tech here. Today I'll be unboxing and taking a look at the new Zotac GTX 1070 Amp Extreme. I will also be showing its benchmarks that I was able to do with this card. Uh, I got this card a few days ago uh, in the mail. I was able to pick it up last week from Newegg. I believe it was Thursday. I guess I checked at the right time because they were in stock and available. So I snatched one up because these cards go pretty quick, just like the 1080s do. Uh, inside we see the 1070 itself. Uh, inside it's anti-static plastic, not plastic, but anti-static bag. This card's huge. It's heavy and huge. Uh, it's bigger than any cards that I've ever held or used before. Uh, when I first picked it up, I was amazed at how much it weighed. It, it was pretty hefty. Um, just, you know, take a look at how wide that is. Pretty wide. Anyway, I like the backplate with its gray and yellow colors. I think it matches my PC pretty well, which I can show you a little bit later. Uh, this card's got three Echo or EKO fans, which keeps the GPU really cool. I was really amazed at the cooling performance, uh, which I will also show later in the video. Uh, this card also has 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, one HDMI port, three display ports, and one dual link DVI port. Uh, like I said before, this 1070 is pretty heavy uh, and, and quite bigger than my previous 980 Ti from Gigabyte. Uh, on the back of the card, we see the white Zotac logo uh, along with the push the limit logo which lights up white um, since this card is so big uh, I put it on the second slot because I didn't want it to be that close to my CPU cooler uh, if you can see I also put the small white bracket to hold the uh, right side of the card because it was sagging quite a bit and I didn't really feel comfortable with it being that way out of the box this 1070 comes at 1632 megahertz base and it boosts up to 1835 megahertz according to Zotac. Um, mine went up all the way to 2037 megahertz on its own with its own boosting. Uh, um, I was able to overclock it to about a stable 2075 megahertz. Here are some games that I was able to benchmark. Uh, please note, I do not have a 4K monitor, so I'm only showing uh, the benchmarks in 1080p and 1440p. As you can see, the 980 Ti G1 Gaming from Gigabyte and the Zotac 1070 were pretty close on all the benchmarks. The 1070 only beating it by a few FPS, uh, with exception to GTA 5 and Far Cry 4, which it was beating it by about 10 FPS or so in 1440p. Now the temps on this card were really good. Uh, it idled around 35 degrees Celsius and under load it was about 66 degrees Celsius. Uh, at first I thought this card would be as loud as my 980 Ti, uh, but the fans didn't spin more than around more than 1300 RPM and it was really quiet. In fact the fans would turn off while gaming due to the temperature dropping below the threshold, uh, which I don't exactly remember what the threshold was. Uh, but then they, the fans would kick back on again after a few seconds, which was pretty impressive. The price for this GTX 1070 is uh, $531 right now on Newegg, um, which is a little above the previous 
versions of the 980 Ti's, but it does have the new Pascal architecture, so it seems you know more future proof to me. I was able to pick this card up for around four hundred eighty five dollars last week, so I'm happy about that. Before the price went up, to overclock this card, I used the Firestorm tool that I downloaded from Zotac's website, um, and then here you can you know adjust and the GPU clock speeds, the memory clock speeds, uh, the power boost that it gets, uh, which I believe it, uh, up to 120%. Um, you can adjust the fans, you, you can set, you know, fan curves to your liking. There is also, uh, you can flash the BIOS of the card. Uh, there's other things, I believe, oh, there's a monitor that you can use to monitor the temperatures, the uh, clock speeds and all that. There's also on the left side here you see uh, the current megahertz it's at and the memory. There's also profiles that you can save this to. Um, now this button is Spectra and here you can select up to seven different colors for the graphics card. Um, where the fans are it will light up because there's lights there and on the front well on the top there's the Zotac sign lights up. Uh, you can you know use different settings here, like breathing or you know pulsing. Some final thoughts. Uh, this is probably the best card that I have ever used before. Uh, not just because it's the latest model with the best performance, uh, but also because of how it performs in the cooling department. Keeps the temperatures low while gaming. Uh, also, it's acoustics, you know, how quiet it is while gaming and the way it looks. Um, I personally like the colors of the backplate, the gray and yellow, but I know it won't match with other setups that people might have, so that's more of a personal preference. Uh, all in all, this is a great card, which I would recommend for anyone. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.